Hey guys, welcome back to the review series. So, you know, lately I've been, you know, running out of cards to go ahead and talk about. So I decided that, you know, any cards that just, you know, I'm going by that piques my interest, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it on here. But, you know, I'll be sure to, you know, talk about the real important stuff and the real hyped stuff when, you know, when it comes to that time. Or if you guys have any comments and you guys want to suggest any cards, then, you know, we'll go ahead and take those into consideration as well. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and look at a card that, you know, is piquing my interest because why not? So, as you guys know, I want to be, I want to be, not, I don't, I don't want to be, I want to build Satella Knights. Uh, they really interest me, I like stars, and they kind of remind me of Castellers, which are also a deck that I really like, so, um, you know, I'm piqued, I'm intrigued by this deck, and I kind of want to make it as a fun deck, you know, my Castellar deck is like, a super competitive one, beat the crap out of my opponent, friends don't want to duel me with, but the Satella Knights are going to be that fun deck that we're just having fun with, not going to run any back row in it, just going to have fun with it, so, uh, Satella Knights have been getting some, uh, okay cards lately, you know, it's pretty much been like the Summer Triangle, you know, just Altair, Deneb, and Vega, and then the rest of it's kind of been like, all the main deck cards have kind of been like, okay, well, this one kind of sends, I guess, and this one burns for a thousand, ooh, great, yeah, not really, but going and looking at Next Challenger, the pack after Duelist Alliance, which won't be getting for a cool minute, uh, they actually have some more Satella Knight support, and, uh, I think I have, like, two monsters that you can see right now and see their effects and stuff. So, this episode I'm gonna go over this one, and if, uh, if everything goes well, and, uh, you know, things haven't switched up, I will be talking about the next one on, uh, this upcoming Tuesday. But, uh, we're today we are looking at Satella Knight Sirius. Or Cyrus, I think it's Sirius. It is a light warrior effect, level 4, 1600 tech and 900 defense. And this card's effect is, if this card is summoned, you could target five Satellite Knight monsters in your grave, shuffle all five into the deck, then draw one card. You can only use the effect of Satellite Knight Sirius once per turn. Alright, well, to tell you the truth, this is the card that Satellite Knights have been needing, definitely. You know, uh, for example, uh, my, of course, one of my friends on YouTube, Stanzi, he made a Satellite Knight deck, and in his deck, he was actually running uh, Exodus, or or whatever, how do you ever pronounce, pronounce his name? You know that one that you, that level 10, where you return the monsters back to your deck and summon him? Yeah, he was running that, because he would send all of his Stellar Knights to the grave, and then he would have no way of, you know, getting back from the deck, and it would just be trouble, so he just decided, you know, play this guy, go ahead and summon him, return them all, and go off again. But the problem with that is that that card has absolute no synergy with this deck. The cards are level 10, this deck is rolled around level 4, so what does he have to do with anything, you know? But, you know, Stanzi was like, yeah, we need to, because you need to put the monsters back, you know? And, of course, you can't use a uh, pot of uh, Dichotomy or Duplicity or whatever the hell his name is, uh, because, you know, they're all the same. Uh, they're all warrior, 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 warrior. You need to have multiple uh, types to, you know, go ahead and pull that off. You know, my deck is a little bit more lenient because, you know, I'm running Star Sufferers and Satella Knights in the same deck, which has been working really well. If you guys haven't seen it already, you guys can go ahead and uh, watch this uh, previous Tuesday's um, Daily Duels and see how that went. I say it went pr fairly well. They they do have synergy, so. And, you know, no one can say that I copied off any idea, you know. Uh, pretty much, uh... My friend Rennie was like, hey, why don't you do it? Why don't you try it out? And I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do it. So, uh, we went and did it, and as you can see, it worked fairly fine. Monster count's really high. Like, I think the monster count's like 26 to 30 cards, so, you know, I don't have to worry about not drawing monsters. Well, I mean, of course, there's still a chance that I'm not, but the chances are very slim, so that's good. As long as I open up with a, a nice chunk of monsters, I can pull off some, uh, some Delta plays. Um, still not really impressed by Trivial to, you know, try to work on him too much, you know, there's much better just generic threes that are better than him and aren't as difficult to go into, especially with me running the Star Staffers, but anyway, this guy is definitely, definitely, definitely the card that uh, Satella Knights needed and the card that Stanzi is looking for. So, you know, when some of you just target five, uh, it's kind of like a, a pot of uh, Avarice, you know, the card that's banned. You know, for, you know, a good reason, it's a very powerful card, you know, to pretty much reset the duel and get you back in by taking those five monsters and shuffling them back and then drawing two. Uh, this one on the other hand has to be, uh, five Telenite monsters. 
Um, it's more of a, more of a, more, say, late game. Really wouldn't even say early game, mid game, because, you know, mid game, you probably only have, like, three to tell the knights, but, you know, late game, you, you, know, you can have multiple, you got multiple. You know, as a Teller Knight player, uh, there's been a cool minute where you know, I pretty much ran out of searches with Deneb because they're all in the graveyard now. So, you know, just being able to go ahead and play this guy, take all five, shuffle him back into the deck and draw a card, um, that's a plus one when he's summoned if you get to pull off the effect because you get to draw a card, uh, taking the monsters from the graveyard to the back to the deck. That's not an egg. His summon's not an egg, so you literally just get the plus. You know, for example, you have five cards in your hand and this guy... You summon this guy, you still have five cards in your hand, you still have him, because field and hand are same resource. You take your cards, shuffle them back, and you draw cards. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand and him on the field. So it's a plus one. So it's a good effect. Uh, it's good that they didn't say, like, up to five, because then I would be a little bit broke, because then you could just put any Satellar Knight monster back. You'd just be like, oh, I got one. Summon him, put one back, draw a card. You know, just one, draw a card, one, draw a card, one, draw a card. But it says five. Uh, he's very useful. I'd say, I'd say probably run him at one. One should be enough. He's recyclable. Uh, you know, Satella Knights do run Call of the Haunted and stuff like that, so, uh, one should be enough. Uh, multiple, and he probably won't be able to get his effect off, but I'm just happy to see a Satella Knight monster that's actually, you know, putting in that work, you know, that's, you know, up there with, you know, Deneb and Vega and Altair, because, you know, the other two, Sham and Ukahala, I can't pronounce that name, uh, the one that's kind of like a foolish, I mean, I guess that one that's like a foolish can kind of feel, uh, serious, but, you know, the deck is kind of like, why do I want to go ahead and send my monsters from the, turn the deck to the graveyard, why, you know, and I, I even tried them out, you know, I'm running Call of the Haunted, I was even trying out, um, before I changed the deck to Star Cyphers, I was trying out the, the Warrior Turn, Returning Alive, you know, the one where you get to target level 4 warrior from your graveyard, but add it back to your hand, kind of like a monster, you know, kind of just if I don't have to nag, it's just a one for one. Uh, I was trying that out, so, you know, ukahala, blah, 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 go ahead and send whichever one I want, go ahead and get it back and get it back to my hand. That was the plan, but it really wasn't working. I mean, at least Uka is a, uh 18 beater. But, um, you know, it was just like, why? You know, I'd rather just get them all from my deck, summon them from my deck, take them from my deck, you know, the Neblexa search from my deck, uh, you know, Delta Lexa summon from my deck or hand, but deck, you know, I don't, I don't want to summon from my hand, I'd rather plus than just stay even, you know. So, something from my deck, so why would I want to use Uka to go ahead and send something from my deck to the graveyard when I want to summon from my deck? That's the whole gist of it, and that's what makes the deck awesome, is that I'm in constant perpetual state of plusing just because I'm grabbing stuff out of my deck. Then, of course, eventually, if I keep on doing those plays, I'm going to run out of targets out of my deck, and I could just go ahead and summon series, put them all back, and it's kind of like a reset button for me. I mean, like I said, average is like a reset button. Put th Take those five cards, put them back in the deck, shuffle them, draw a card, and then do it again. Just do it all again. So I'd say one of these guys would definitely be uh, worth it in the Satella Knight deck. Uh, if you're going to run Satella Knights, I definitely recommend him. I'm very impressed. I'm happy that they're actually getting some decent monsters and that they're not going to get just plain old shit like Ukahala, which is not that good, and then Sham, come on, summon in and take a thousand. Ooh, ooh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not worth the trouble. You gotta give me a little bit more bang for my buck to go ahead and try to take you know, these wonderful star sephiroths have just been doing great, you know, just tagging with each other, summoning each other, drawing cards, you know, getting pop effects and stuff like that. They have to go into three, uh, uh rank four that requires three monsters, which, you know, Satellite Knights, that's all, that's what they do. You know, the thing I'm just waiting for with Satellite Knights is, can we get, like, a, just two level four Ixie? The, not generic, just two level four, I mean, a rank four, well, two level four, uh, Satellite Knight monster, just that, because it seems like all they're getting is three, 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 like, if we can get two, and, you know, and it's decent, then that'd be just, you know, making the deck more powerful as well, so, um, hoping that, cross my fingers, that maybe I get that. Alright, well, this episode went on a lot longer than I was planning on it to go, but, you know, I'm just kind of excited for the Tell Nights, I got to finally talk about a deck that, uh, I want to make, and I'm excited for, so, getting support for a deck that I'm excited for, it's just awesome. So, like I said, if you guys have any uh, thing that you want to comment and uh, suggest any deck, then you can go ahead and be like, "Oh, okay, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and talk about uh, this card." And um, 
if it's you know if it's in the stars ha 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 if you did there uh, I will go ahead and uh, talk about it uh, I know you guys are probably wondering when I'm gonna talk about Contrast Hero Chaos I'm still deciding if I want to do it on here on the card review series or go ahead and make it Daniel Discuss um, if you guys think you know it should be either or go ahead and comment in the comment section and I will take your guys' uh, opinion into consideration but yeah that's pretty much all I got to talk about with this card tell me what you guys think of this card thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card review thanks for watching